My own personal view of HISMED is very positive. I think we need more organizations like HISMED, not less. I think that the, 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 the generosity, the charitable works are genuine. That is my feeling. I'm Peter Bechtold. I am a professor currently of uh, political science at Portland State University. And uh, I used to be at uh, the Foreign Service Institute, which is a diplomatic academy of the United States government, a branch of the U.S. Department of State. I was director for Near East and North Africa for 29 years. And I sent approximately 450 American diplomats to Turkey, Ankara, Istanbul, Adana, and for a while to Izmir, while the uh, consulate was open. Well, my overall opinion of the Hizmet movement is very positive. Um, I uh, have been uh, studying Turkey for most of my life. As an undergraduate student, it was the first country that I wrote any kind of a research paper about. This was long ago. And one never forgets the first country. And I had visited Turkey before as part of my uh, work as a young scholar. And then as director in our diplomatic academy, I was visiting our diplomats in, in these uh, uh, cities. Uh, but the Hizmet movement opened a completely different door. Uh, the people we met, um, uh, the private citizens, were enormously friendly and warm, hospitable. And the government officials whom we met were also uh, very, very nice. And uh, it was a very positive me uh, uh, experience. And then, of course, visiting the schools. Uh, the one in Izmir was the first one. Uh, in Istanbul, it was Fatih University. Those are the two that I remember now. But there was another one, there was one more. My views about uh, uh, Mr. Fethullah Gülen uh, Hoca are extremely warm and positive. It's difficult to think of the best adjective because in addition to meeting uh, uh, so many of the followers or members of the group, I had the extraordinary privilege to meet him in person along with one other American professor. And uh, I was privileged to ask the first questions uh, of him in eastern Pennsylvania, where he had been living for quite some time. And um, uh, I asked him, you know, uh, about his movements, and he immediately stopped me and said, I don't have a movement. I am not a leader. I have people who are with me. And um, uh, we went on for uh, more than one hour asking about Islamic movements. I myself had met leaders of Islamic movements in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Egypt, Sudan, and Kazakhstan. And I was making comparisons between them and Fethullah Gülen Hoca. And he is, uh, to my mind, the most kind of them all. Uh, the most uh, tolerant towards different people with different backgrounds, even though the others I had very positive experiences with, but he stands out to me as number one. And uh, I also observed when it came time for the afternoon prayer, uh, there were maybe a dozen or so uh, mostly young men at this place uh, with him, and they went for the afternoon prayer. And uh, the respect that everybody had for him 
and the presence that he exuded in a room, you know, you come into a room within in it and you feel there's something very special. You're not just in a room with somebody else, you're in a room with somebody who is a very, very special person. But of course, if I said that to him, he would deny it. He would say, no, I'm not, I'm just an ordinary person. My opinion about the contributions of the Gülen movement, um, you know, this is a huge question and people can write a book about it and some people have written books about it. Uh, certainly, the, uh, the thing that you can see most clearly are the schools because the schools uh, that I have seen were excellent in, qu in quality. Now, I have been a lifelong teacher myself at the university level, but of course one is interested in the high schools and the junior high schools uh, having children, you go with them to their schools. And the schools that I saw uh, were famous for the quality of the instruction and the price that some of their students had won at international meetings. I remember at the one outside Izmir, it's in, just on the edges of Izmir, uh, uh, they had uh, won prizes and uh, Prime Minister Erdogan at the time, he was there presenting the medals to the students uh, that they had brought back from Asia. I believe in mathematics and biology, subjects like this. And uh, at uh, Fatih University also one could see, as a university professor myself, the uh, dedication uh, to the students and uh, to making this a mission, not just a source of employment, which a fair number of teachers and professors look at, but as a commitment. The other half that struck me about the movement is um, in Turkey, at every place we stopped, and also in Washington, and uh, the day before we went to visit uh, Fethullah Gülen Hoca in New Jersey, we were hosted by a group of uh, individuals, and they were businessmen, and they also had a school in, um, in Newark, I believe, uh, which has accomplished a lot in an area of the United States that has a very poor quality of life. Newark is not, uh, you know, it is famous for the fact that there's a lot of poverty in the area. And uh, the school of the Hizmet movement uh, uh, has made a contribution uh, to the Turkish American community, but also to some other people who were there. And the business uh, members that uh, I met, along with my colleague, uh, they were like the others, you know. You could feel the commitment, you could feel the kindness. Uh, the theme was often, you know, I made some money and then I asked myself, is that all there is to life? I should do something with that money, I should give back to others who are not as fortunate, and uh, one way is to support the schools and uh, to host a number of meetings. Your question is about uh, the interfaith activities that uh, Hizmet is involved in. I can only speak about two places. One is Portland and the other one is Washington DC and suburban Maryland. I was active in suburban Maryland. I've participated in um, uh, Ramadan uh, uh, dinners, iftars during the holy month of Ramadan. Um, in fact, I was invited to be a speaker at one event in, 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 in the Maryland areas and they've invited me several times to the Rumi for, Forum as well. And um, they clearly have tried to reach out to people from different backgrounds, some of them public figures like elected officials, uh, some of them uh, religious leaders. Uh, the ones that I have seen were some uh, Christian clergymen. Uh, I know here in Portland of a Catholic priest and a Protestant minister 
whom I uh, saw at, uh, at this meeting through the Pacifica organization, formerly the Rose Garden uh, Society. Back east, uh, my experience was also that they reached out to people of different backgrounds. I had nominated some for trips uh, to Turkey and one of them was a well-known journalist uh, from the Washington Post who was Jewish and he began his trip by being very critical and as the trip went on he became much more um, much more moderate. So uh, I think these, these things are effective. But more recently uh, I have read uh, a number of articles that seem to be uh, well researched about a, a split between uh, uh, members, leaders and followers of the AK party, which is Islamically oriented, and the Gulen movement, which is also Islamically oriented, and that they used to be, years ago, uh, much closer together and may have cooperated together and that in recent years that, that this is no longer the case, a kind of a rivalry has uh, uh, come about. I am expected to read all points of view, the positive ones and the negative ones. My own personal view of Hizmet is very positive. I think we need more organizations like Hizmet, not less. I do not believe that they're using this in order to trick people into becoming a rival movement. I don't believe that. I think that the generosity, the charitable works are genuine. That is my feeling. Hizmet has been true to what they say they believe about people, what they say they believe about the relationship between people and God, what they say they believe about how um, we can live on this earth better together with other people. One thing that I would like to emphasize about the Hizmet movement is the service to humanity. No uh, the, uh, disregard of your ethnicity, your religion, their service to humanity. Thank you.